A greater focus on capabilities in competition policy analysis would have a number of important implications, but perhaps its most significant application would be in merger control. Consider the case of an agency wondering whether to take a settlement or undertakings in a particular matter. A crucial issue in evaluating the suitability of a divestiture buyer is whether or not the divestiture buyer has the competencies, the capabilities, to use the assets in a way that creates genuine competition in the market. A sharper focus on capabilities, I think, would use a number of approaches that agencies already have begun and would extend them further in a very productive way. The capabilities focus also would provide agencies with better tools to assess the likelihood and impact of entry by other firms. It would give agencies a better sense of which firms might be able to apply themselves to enter a market, perhaps to improve it in significant ways, and instead of using a somewhat ill-defined or hazier notion of whether or not entry could occur or might occur, it would provide a much sharper analytical basis for deciding when entry is likely to take place and whether specific entrants might emerge to be effective competitors. So the development and enhancement of the capabilities approach would build upon a number of techniques that agencies already use, but I think put them in a much better position to make well-informed judgments in merger control about matters such as the appropriateness of settlements and the likelihood of entry into particular markets. And yes, indeed, evaluating whether firms that appear to be dominant today are likely to continue that position of dominance in the future, especially in the face of new entry.